you are, let the blood of Jesus speak. Speak for this country. In the name of Jesus, pray that prayer. Don't be silent. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Say, Lord, let the blood speak in this nation. Say, oh Lord, let the blood of Jesus speak. Oh Lord, let the blood of Jesus speak. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are going to help me or join me to sing this song that says, We plead the blood, the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood, the blood of Verse 9. The Bible says that the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Lift up your hands and say, Oh Lord, my Father. No matter the affliction that have taken place in Nigeria, in this 2023, 2023, Nigeria is marking a new season. A new season of refreshing. A new season of divine intervention. Pray, 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 pray. In this 2023, Nigeria, you are entering a new season. A new season of refreshing. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. pray that prayer, pray that prayer. A new season of divine intervention. A new season of the glory of God. A new season of testimony. In the land of Nigeria. Pray that prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, oh Lord, my Father. In this year 2023. 2023. Nigeria. Nigeria. Is rising again. On the day. Pray that prayer. Nigeria is rising again. In Nigeria, your today, I can see. The Lord Almighty is intervening. Oh Lord, that's your Nigeria. You see the new thing in Nigeria. Nigeria, I can see. Pray, 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 in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalm 34, verse 19. Psalm the Bible says, says, Many are the afflictions. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord Almighty delivers him out of them all. Lift up your hands and say, Oh Lord, my God. According to your word, all the afflictions of the people of Nigeria in this year 2023, 2023 let there be deliverance. Let there be deliverance. Let there be deliverance. In the name of Jesus, in our prayer, in 2023, the Lord shall deliver Nigeria. The hand of the Lord shall come upon Nigeria. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A louder amen in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Listen to me. Nobody, nobody will deny that God's hand has been upon this nation. The hand of God has been upon this country. God has been into holding a lot of things in this country. But I say prayer we are going to pray now. God is going to do something public. God is going to reveal himself in the public. 
Raise your hand and say, Oh Lord, my Father. In this year 2023, 2023 let Nigeria see your hand. See your hand. Carry your water. See your hand. Carry your water. Experience your hand. Can she acquire your water? Oh, your glory. Hey. Let there be a public display of your glory. Oh, Baba, in 2023, you, know, 2023, you will show yourself in the land of Nigeria. Oh, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I don't know how many of us that are conversant with the record of economic trend in this nation. In, in 2009, a bag of rice was 8,700 naira. How much is a bag of rice now? 8,700 naira in 2009. The children of God are suffering. That is massive suffering. Lift up your hand and say, Oh Lord, my Father. In this 2023, you shall visit Nigeria. Visit Nigeria. Let there be a great change. Let there be a great change. Let there be a great change. Let there be rejoicing. Let there be rejoicing. Let there be rejoicing. Let there be rejoicing. You will do a new thing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, from verse 6, the Bible says that the Spirit of Jesus hindered Paul the Apostle, resisted him, stopped him from going into a city. I'm going to pray for this nation and for the leaders of this nation as the election is coming that the Lord Almighty by his own hand he will stop the agenda of the enemies. Lift up your hand say, Oh Lord my Father. In the coming election, by your power, by your spirit, you will stop the hand of the enemies. Every agenda of evil men concerning the election, hinder them, stop them, stop them, stop them, stop them, put confusion, put confusion, Confession in their means. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As we are here, we are only believing God by faith. I'm going to go to the great is coming out of that election. But let us know that plans are going on. Hidden agenda. There are hidden plans and programs. Say, oh Lord, my Father. Every hidden agenda. To disrupt the election. To cause confusion in the election. To hijack the election. In this season. Let there be confusion in their midst. Let there be confusion in their midst. Lord, you will not allow them. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Finally, the Bible says, the Bible says that if the house is divided, any house that is divided shall not stand. One major reason for the delay and the stagnancy we are facing in Nigeria is the spirit of division. Spirit of division. We are going to pray that any leader that is coming up 
the leader that God is going to give us by the coming election the Lord will use them as tools to establish peace and unity peace and unity in this nation in the name of Jesus pray that prayer as many as God is going to bring up in the coming election the Lord will use them as tools for peace for unity in Nigeria for peace and unity in Nigeria oh Lord let there be peace peace in the north peace in the south peace in the west peace in the east in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray Amen. shout a louder amen in Jesus name we pray Amen. we decree as the word of God says in Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6 that it is not by power or by mind but by the spirit of the Lord in this season of election and in this year 2023 by the spirit of the Lord Almighty he will cause the enemies of Nigeria to be shattered the enemies of Nigeria shall be shattered the enemies of peace and progress in Nigeria shall be dismantled. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. By the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. In this season of election, Amen. the Lord Almighty will reveal himself. Amen. He will make a name for himself. Amen. Nigeria shall rejoice. Amen. Nigeria will rise up again. Amen. The glory of God will cover Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every source of confidence of the enemies, Amen. the Lord will so shall it be. Amen. In the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Three times amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Renewed strength is our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to do something now. Please, shall we rise to our feet? Please. Please, shall we rise to our feet? God is your strength. Try to walk around. We want to do something for the Lord. We want to give the miracle working God a clap offering. For just two minutes. For just two minutes. As you are clapping, you walk around. As you clap, you walk around. As you are doing that, the Lord is doing wonders in your life. As you are doing that, the Lord is performing miracles in your life. As you are doing that, that long awaited miracle is taking place in your family. Mark it, mark it, mark it, mark it as we are doing that. That long awaited miracle is taking place in your marriage, it's taking place in your business, it's taking place in your life. You are moving forward. No more delay in your life. No more delay in your business. No more delay in your marriage. You are moving forward. I said you are moving forward. Keep clapping to the Lord of Lords. Keep clapping to the King of Kings. Keep clapping to the God of Miracles. Try to return to your seats. Try to return to your seats. The Lord is here. Something is taking place in our midst now. Something is taking place in our midst now. Something is taking place in our midst now. The miracle working God is here with us. It's in our midst. Hallelujah. Amen. Turn to somebody next to you. You are the next person to testify. You are the next person to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we be seated? The, the hour we are waiting for as Falane come. 
the hour has come. God is set to bless us. God is set to bless us. God is set to perform wonders in our lives. God is set to show forth in your situation. God is set to transform your life. God is set to give you a new name. That will be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. As we take the next aim at the back of our program, the convocation aim, God moves in a mysterious way. As we take the aim, we shall prepare our minds to listen to the word of God. Please don't miss this hour. Please don't miss this art. Prepare yourself, prepare your mind to receive from the Lord. May the Lord bless us in the name of Jesus Christ. The divine minded voices will lead us as we sing. God bless you.
Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is good. Oluwa dara. And all the time. Ni gogo igba. This afternoon, we begin as we shout 12 Alleluia to the Lord. And I want you to be ready as we shout those 12 Alleluia to the Lord. Because by the shouting of that 12 Alleluia, the angels of God will begin to deliver unto you your own power package of mega miracles i want to share by yano re Listen, it is a mega convocation in the year of our mega miracles. And so what the Lord is said to do for you is to give mega blessings unto you. And the twelfth hallelujah each stand for each month of this year. We believe in the Lord Jesus, so back back, born in Jesus Christ, God will carry you by His own hand in every month of this year, and that your own mega miracle will be recorded in every month of this year. Do I have those that want to join their faith with mine that want to shout 12? Mega hallelujah to the Lord. One, two, three, go. Hallelujah. 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 Your hands together for the Lord Jesus. Your hands together for the Lord Jesus. And wave your hands to the Lord. Give him thanks once again. Give him thanks once again. For opening the door of year 2023. For opening the door of year 2023. Unto you and your household. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise for what he did in previous years. Give him praise for what he did in the past years. Give him praise for what he will do this year. Give him praise ahead of the mega miracles. 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 Give him praise because he's faithful to his word. Give him praise because he's faithful to his word. Give him praise because because we have gathered in his name. And when the children of God gathered in the name of the Lord, God is always there to bless them. Lord, we give you praise. 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 Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name. Be to your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Jesus. I want you to pray this prayer point before you say it. And say, Father, can I hear somebody saying it after me? Can you say, Father, this afternoon, let my voice attract angelic visitation. Can somebody open up and pray very quickly? Let my voice this afternoon, let it attract Trust and jelly visitation. Angels of the Lord, I want Kelly Olua. Hear my voice this afternoon. That I will not labor in vain in the place of prayer. That I will not come in vain this afternoon. My voice this afternoon. We attract angelic visitation. Lord, you will visit me. Lord, you will visit me. You will visit me. 
my household. You will visit every situation of my life. Every stubborn issue in my life. You will not escape this afternoon. You will not escape this afternoon. The torch of the Lord. The torch of the Lord. Will be upon my life. The rest upon my life. At this hour, Lord God. At this hour, Lord God. You will minister to me. You will encourage me. And your name will be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Father, we give you praise because we are faithful. Father, we give you praise because you are the Lord. There is nothing too difficult for you to do. Thank you for bringing us together. Thank you for opening the door of year 2023 unto us. Thank you for the previous years of our lives. Thank you for what you are said to do this year. We return glory to your name. In the name of Jesus. We ask Heavenly Father that at this season you will reach out to us. You will bless us. You will reach out to us. You will bless us. We we'll receive strength in the place of prayer. We we'll receive strength to pray aright. To the glory and praise of your name. But at the end of everything this afternoon, we will return glory to your name. The blessing shall be ours. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I love better. Amen. I am asking for better. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus. As you say, God bless you. Please sit back. We give glory to the name of the Lord. God who is faithful in all his dealings with us. And so it is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that we welcome you and your household this afternoon to a year of mega miracles. We are grateful to the Lord Jesus. We appreciate our Father in the Lord, our supervising bishop, the Right Reverend Dr. James Olushala Odedeji, for asking us to minister at this mega prayer convocation. We do not take this opportunity for granted. We pray for renewal of strength upon Baba in the mighty name of Jesus. In the thousands of Lagos, we began to have two mega miracles in a single year. Sometimes that started sometimes from 2018. And it has been explosive. We usually have one in January. To round up our foundation program for the year. And the second one in August to round up the memorial for the year. These are part of the legacies that are highly cherished father in God who went to be with the Lord last year. The legacy that he handed over though our father in the Lord has gone to rest at the bosom of the Lord. Want to love you, we remain ever grateful to the Lord for his life and for his episcopy in the diocese of Lagos. So I immediately pass Bishop and now Bishop. 
pray the Lord will continue to rest his, his soul in peace. And the family Baba left behind, the Lord will continue to take care of in the mighty name of Jesus. We are grateful to the Lord to all the ministers of God here. We appreciate God for the support we receive from them all. But thank me, permit me to in particular appreciate our father in the Lord the venerable John Agboro he's been interesting and encouraging working with him God bless him the more in the mighty name of Jesus to all our mamayas we appreciate God upon your life and to everybody that has come today the Lord will deliver your mega miracles unto you that amen is not megal at all. I said that you have come this afternoon. And both the one you saw ye, the Lord will deliver unto you e, your own mega miracles. E, yano, agba, yano, to, to, be, in the mighty name of Jesus. Ne, Jesus Christ. In the past 12 days, ne, o, to, me, jila, se, we have been looking at the film Mega Miracles. As in, wo, ko, ko, ro, tan, kwe, ne, agba, yano, share, and la. the Lord has used many ministers o, lo, ati, lo, ko, lo, kwa, wang, ron, share, eh. in a different way to minister to ne, us. O, I recall very quickly Moses, well, it, that we have been able to look at how to obtain mega miracles. We looked at salvation as the very first one. And then we were able to establish that for you to get mega miracles, your life must be saved. You must give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, the best mega miracle you can receive is the salvation of your soul. Because when the soul is saved, every other thing the Lord releases unto us. And after that, we look at righteousness. That's one of the tools through which we can obtain mega miracles. And the Lord establishes the fact that after our salvation, you do not stay there. Oh, you pursue to live righteous life. You look forward to live holy life. Because holiness will propel the mega miracles of the Lord to come to you. We also look that service. As another way to obtain mega miracles from the Lord. Because when the man has been saved and the man lives a righteous life, God expects you to do something for him. And so as you go into year 2023, he is not only ready to give you mega miracles, but God is also looking up to you. No. Now you do something for him in your own we service. And this will hasten your mega miracles to come. We also look at the word of the Lord as one of the channels to receiving mega miracles. Because the word of the Lord are yes and amen. Every detail as contained in the scriptures, God meant everything. And that if we must get this mega miracles, we must hold very tightly to the word of the Lord. We further look at tithes and offerings as also one of the ways to obtain mega miracles. One of the things we love to do, one of the things we love to do is that we love to receive from the Lord and without giving back to him. But we also know that no wise farmer eats his seed. 
No wise farmer eat up his seed. He need to plant the seed before the seed can bring harvest. As we talking about tithing and offering in this context, as one of the way to receiving mega miracles, we are saying that when you release, God releases more lunch on you. So you are not here only to pray in year 2023. Ah, all these things that the Lord has taught us um, bo, bo, tia, Lord, that we begin to put them into practice um, and we also went further to so look at how and some of these mega miracles that we can enjoy. We look at journey messes and I stand on this pulpit to declare to the life of many that can say mega amen. That in year 2023, all of your journeys shall be ordered by the Lord. That amen is not megal enough. I say it again in the name of the Lord. That all your journeys, you're going out and you're coming in. In year 2023 and beyond, they shall be ordered by the Lord. The Lord will grant you Johnny Messiah. In the mighty name of Jesus. We also look at peace of mind. I am standing on this altar to pray for somebody. Everything that has eaten up your peace before now. That has eaten up the peace in your home. That has eaten up your peace concerning that child of yours. By the mercy of the Lord. The fire of God will consume them today. In year 2023, you will enjoy the peace of mind. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We also went for that to look at all and healing. Healings that nobody can even explain. Healings that nothing can hinder. It's the one of the mega miracles that the Lord has promised. If there is any sickness in your body, either known and unknown, by the mercy of the Lord this afternoon, I command them to dry up. I don't like that amen you brought today. I said I command them to dry up. I said I command them to dry up. In year 2023, the blessings that the Lord will give unto you, you will not spend them on sickness. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And also, we look at divine protection. Our During the day. And in the night, even in your unguarded hour, that the angels of God will carry somebody. Can you look at your neighbor this afternoon? And say, neighbor, you are not talking, neighbor. I am happy. You in the middle that is suffer that in year 2023 and beyond. We will do ya to do tumbo. Angels of God will carry you. I tell you, Lord, I be all over. I said, angels of God will carry you. I tell you, Lord, I be all over. You will not dash your foot on stones. Oh, nephew, I said, I call. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ne oru ko Jesu. And just yesterday, ne ano ala no ye. We looked at fruitfulness. I wo is a so fruitfulness is a so in every area of your life. Where you have labored and labored without no result. Where the enemy had made you to labor without nothing. To that fellow that can sell the biggest of the air. I said that in this year 2023, God will grant you fruitfulness. I said God will grant you fruitfulness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now today, we 
pray at this mega prayer convocation. Let me briefly before we talk to the Lord in prayer. I shall be talking on mega miracles by faith. Mama Soro, Ishak by Yanola, miracles by faith. Ishak by Yanola, this is to establish the fact that mega miracles comes to you when you have got your own faith. In Matthew chapter 19, verse 26, very quickly. In, in Matthew chapter 19, verse 26, if you are here with your Bible, I want to go open it for we shall be reading this together. Let that word of God sink deep unto you this afternoon. In Matthew chapter 19 verse 26. We will be reading this together if you are here with your Bible. Can we read it irrespective of the version you have brought this afternoon? In Matthew chapter 19 verse 26. Can we take it together? But Jesus looked at them and said to them, With men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. May I ask somebody a question this afternoon? According to this scriptural passage, how many things are possible for the Lord? I cannot hear you. How many things are possible for the Lord? All things are possible to the Lord. And that is because God is a miracle worker. When we talk about miracle, we are talking about an extraordinary event that manifests divine intervention in the life of man. When something extraordinary happens, something that sometimes people find it difficult to explain, when God himself chooses to step in into the affairs of the life of a man, he brings forth the miraculous act. He shows up in a wonderful way. That is what is miracle. Miracle is not magic. It is not magic at all. I remember a boy growing up in the street of Lagos here. When you go out in those days, you see people gathering at one point or the other. They say they are performing miracles there. And sometimes people will be dropping money to see what they are doing. I will record that sometimes ago, I followed one of my sisters to her in-laws place. And they were doing this Gelede festival. I said, Gelede is like a masquerade in its own right. And so the miracle, the, 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 the masquerade, when the biggest of the masquerade came out, it began to perform magic. And one of those things he did, the masquerade will bend down, and by the time he jump from that side, you will see another masquerade spring up from there. And he was doing it like that, like that, like that. And by the time he was to swallow them up, the masquerade went back to each of those small, small masquerades. And all of a sudden, they get disappeared. And the high mass of it is that the masquerade jumped because it was an open field. He now went into the roof of the classroom. And the masquerade was dancing. And people were clapping their hands. I remember as young as I was, I opened my mouth and could not close it. That is magic. There is no woman that conceives and gives birth in a day. Every Mary that gave birth to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It took her nine 
woman to carry the baby oh, in her womb. Oh, for you to mess on that it be on you. The point I am making here is very simple. Oh, cut him on so kolelala. Miracle lasts forever. Ishe ya no okpe titi lai lai. Time magic is for a while. E ito waje kwa lupa ida ibadi eni. Miracle comes only from God. Ishe ya no owala to odo lorun ni kan so so. Magic is from the devil. Sugbo alupa ida owala to do is. But what we are talking about in the Dawson of Lagos this year. But that elite that so ni that we see Olodun ni wipe. In that in year 2023. Ni odun ta wa yi. Your miracles will be mega. Ishe ya no re atobi. Oh God, I don't like this amen this afternoon. Mi o be na mi re lo so yi. I said in year 2023. Ani odun ta wa yi. Either the devil likes it or not. Your shall be mega. If there has been any magic, if there has been any sorcery, that the devil has done concerning you and your household, to hinder your blessing from coming forth. By the mandate of God this afternoon, I declare them roasted by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. So in year 2023, your miracle shall be massive. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I looked into the New Testament account very carefully. And I discovered that the word miracle, three different words were used to to, to represent it. The first one is power. The power of God. Whenever you read that the power of God is present, it shows that God brings forth his miracle. So when the power of God comes, the miracles of the Lord follows. The next one you will read about signs. When you see signs, oh, it is also one of the words to use to describe the miraculous oh, act of God. And of course, the third one okay, is what the scripture called wonders. Something that the scripture called wonders. When God brings his own wonderful act in your life, all these comes from the Lord. Anywhere there is power of God, there will be signs. And I have no doubt that the power of God is here this afternoon. I don't know anybody that can feel how I'm feeling. That, that the power of God is here this afternoon. Wherever there is power of God, definitely there will be signs. And whenever there is signs, the wonders of God are bound to take place. I am praying for somebody that will say a better amen. The power of the Lord will come upon you. I said the power of the Lord will come upon you. Every sign that you have had all this year, the Lord will change them to wonders for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Not all signs turns to wonders. If a woman had been so to say barren for many years and trusting God for conception and the power of God comes upon her and she conceives everybody will see the sign anywhere she goes to she goes with the sign if she says Father in God it is only you I want to share that testimony with because I don't want the wishes and the wizard to take it away no, from me. No problem. There will be a time that the sign will show and everybody will see it. She may no longer be able to hide it. But the biggest irony there is that that sign is not automatic to lead to wonders. 
So there are so many women. They have had the sign of pregnancy. They have carried the baby in their womb. But they never had the wonders in their hands. I don't know who the Lord is talking to this afternoon. Every sign that the Lord has given to you in year 2023, they will turn to wonders. What I said they will return to wonders. If there have been any demon eating up the fruit of the womb from you, on this altar of the Lord this afternoon, they are roasted by the fire of the Lord. This year you will carry your own miracle, baby. In the mighty name of Jesus. Even our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, He understands that you need this power, signs, and wonders. And that is why it is your year of mega miracles. In my own submission, when power signs and wonders when they come together they give birth to mega miracles <laughs> and I'm praying for somebody here this afternoon the power of God the signs of God and the wonders of God will come for speedily in your life in the year 2023 and they will give you such a mega miracle that will be so big for you to hide. If you believe it, a bigger amen. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in John chapter 4, verse 48, in John chapter 4, verse 48, Jesus said unto him, Jesus often we pray. Unless you people see signs and wonders, you by no means not believe. That means Jesus is in approval of these past signs and wonders. Jesus pelu oti ishe ishe amise yano ilayi. No wonder out of Apostle chapter ten verse thirty eight. Apala jodi we ishe wa Apostle yeri koru keje. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Your Lord who is fit for me, only Jesus Christ. With power of the Holy Spirit, and they went about doing good. That same God will do good in your life today. In the mighty name of Jesus. And in that of Apostle chapter two, verse twenty-two. The Bible knows that the power, signs, and wonders they were all evident in the life and in the ministry of Jesus Christ. And that is what Acts chapter 2 verse 22 confirms. That the power of God, the signs of God, and the wonders of God they were all seen in the ministry of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Bible says in that Acts chapter 2, verse 22, men of Israel, they are this word, Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested by God to you by miracles. Can somebody shout miracles? Oh my God. Can somebody shout miracles? Can somebody shout miracles? Miracles, wonders, Amen. and signs. Amen. Those are the things you see from this Acts chapter 2, verse 22. Because they were all seen in the ministry of Jesus Christ. I am glad to tell you this afternoon that mega miracles are part of the natures of God. And that is why God is miraculous. Everything about God is miracle. As a matter of fact, God began to perform miracle even before the world began. For in the beginning, 
Say God created. Lati ibere Olorun tin da. He created the world out of nothing. O da ye ninu ko si nkokan. I'm sure to put up this auditorium where we are. Lati gbe ile yiroba yi. A number of people work on these things. Opolopo eniyan lo sise lori e. All sorts of people from different building departments. Ori sise eniyan lati gbogbo igbanu gbogbo. They came together to put up this structure. Won ko ra won jopo lati gbe ile yiro. Is a miraculous God. Sugbo Olorun ni se iya nu ni. Said, let there be war. Oh, we pray, Jack King, come on, kill war. Let heaven exist. Jack King, come on, kill war. Let earth exist. Jack King, yeah, kill war. And everything he said came forth to be. I'm going to go to Shopa Takwa Tausi Wari. And so I stand as a man of God. This I to know. I release that word of God into your life. That miracles will spring forth in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. The miracles of Jesus Christ. Miraculous out of God are not limited to the New Testament. I want share ya no luwa a o fi oni. Even in the Old Testament, they are there. God brought water from the rock. God fed the people with manna from heaven. He asked his angels to go with his own people. And to, 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 to make everything mega. Toby. He made his children to pass through dry land. Oh, Jackie, I want more tears. In the midst of Red Sea. Ne, I need more milk. What other miracle art are you asking from the Lord? Is she ya no wolo to pay no wolo? What other miraculous art you are trusting the Lord to do? Is she ya no wolo to pay no wolo? God has done it before. All who are the shetelers and they will do it again. At the shetelers in the mighty name of Jesus. In the Jesus Christ. In the Matthew chapter 19 verse 26, we have read. We learned that God is able to do all things. God is able to do all things. And there, there is nothing that is difficult for him to do. A man came to the Lord Jesus. A young wealthy man came to him. He said, I want to make heaven. What do I do together? And Jesus began the teaching ministry. And Jesus was teaching him. He said, you have heard from the law. That you are to keep the laws. Don't commit mother. Don't steal. And Jesus summarized all those commandments on the young man. The young man said, from when I was a baby, I have been going to Sunday school. I know all these things. I have kept them from when I was a baby. And Jesus said to him, oh, beautiful, then go and sell your belongings. Sell them, then come back and follow me. And what was the Lord saying there? Jesus, Jesus was saying, all those things that you think you have done, you are still attaching your life to those things I did for you. You cannot live outside me. Go and say that Jesus meant there, Jesus was trying to say, never put your mind in those things any longer. And he went on to say, carry your cross and follow me. And the Bible said the man went home angrily. Then the disciples, they then looked at the Lord. Said, uh, this one is one that we Who then can be saved? Then Jesus said to them, Wait, man, it is not possible. But with God, all things are possible. Jesus was only re-emphasizing that there is nothing he cannot do. Listen, if you want to serve God this year, if you want to follow him this year, the grace is available to you. All you need to do is to key into it. For with God, all things are possible.
impossible. In John chapter 4, very carefully. In John chapter 4, from verses 46 to 53. In John chapter 4, verses 46 to 53, we saw what mega miracles can do by faith. And how faith can bring forth about mega miracles. And the Bible said here in that John chapter 4, from verse 46, Jesus was there. And when he had turned water to wine. He went back to that city again. And the Bible said there was a man. The Bible said he was a noble man. I hope somebody will understand something this afternoon. The Bible said the man was a noble man. For the Bible to say he was a noble man, he showed that he was an important man in the community. The child was sick. That means for the Bible to call him a noble man. He could afford sending that child to a foreign country for better health care. I imagine that this man must have used every available opportunity or means available to him. But the sickness remained there still. And and that was why that man came to Jesus that day. I don't know that stubborn sickness that is there in your life this afternoon. I don't know that stubborn sickness that is there in your family this afternoon. But if you can believe with me and shout a bigger amen. Because we have come to meet with the Lord Jesus Christ. That sickness is over this afternoon. I said that sickness is over this afternoon. In the mighty name of Jesus. In John chapter 4, verse 47. We saw the display of faith. John 4, chapter 47. When he heard that Jesus had come out of Judea into Galilee, he went to him and employed him to come down and to heal his son. For Adam, he was at the point of death. That was the display of faith. This man needed mega miracle by healing for his son. Even when the son may not have the faith, the faith of the father rubbed off on the boy. And something happened in verse 50. I see mega faith in verse 50. In John chapter 4 verse 50, Jesus, Jesus said to him, Jesus, we pe, Go your way. Ma ba I say unto Somebody this afternoon in 2023, as you go your way, nothing will hinder you. I don't like this, amen. I said that in year 2023, as you go your way, no demon will stand on your way. As you go in your way, in year 2023, God will go with you. And Jesus said, your son lives. So the man believed the word that Jesus spoke to him. And he went his way. That is mega miracle by faith. I said that is mega miracle by faith. What God is asking from you before we begin to pray. The Bible says he's even asking for a little faith. For you to get the mega miracles this year, it's just a little faith is asking. And so that is why in Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, Jesus said, if you look at the Matthew 17, verse 20, Matthew, look at the look at the look at the can be as small as the mustard seed. That whatever you command this afternoon, they will come to pass. 
pass in your life. You can have a bigger faith. Oh, the better for you. Just like the disciples prayed. In Luke chapter 17, verse 5, they said, Oh Lord, increase our faith. They wanted a bigger faith. So that bigger miracle can come their way. People of God. I remind you this afternoon that most times your miracles your testimonies are products of your faith. Faith propels miracles. Faith propels miracles. And God honors faith. Because anything that honors God, God will honor. All of those things that honors God is faith. So when you have done your part, you are not a lazy person. Oh, gentle, you have labored, you have done your best. When you attach your faith into it, you are bound to receive mega miracles. Faith is the soil. Faith is the soil on which miracle grows. Faith is the oxygen that, that miracle needs for survival. And so as we go into year 2023 and as we pray together we are not just praying alone but you are believing what you have prayed for. You are believing what you have prayed for. Faith, we have to turn your signs to wonders. As a matter of Fat, faith calls forth mega miracles. Faith calls forth mega miracles. And that is why Romans chapter 4 verse 17. He said, he called those things that be not as if they were. I don't know what you don't have by now. That in the place of prayer this afternoon, by faith, you are going to speak it forth. That yes, they said I have fibroid. They said I cannot carry my baby. For you, this fibroid, I speak to you. Today, I told you to find ball. I told you to find ball. I bring you forth in the name of Jesus. Oh, they said this sickness will kill me. But I speak for today. That I will survive it. Faith brings forth mega miracles. Bring forth mega miracles. Calling those things that be not as if they were. Faith is obeying what the Lord says to you. What the Lord is saying to you. And so in your devotion at this year. In your devotion at this year. When you go to church this year. When you listen to messages this year. Faith is doing what they ask you to do. In the word of God. And that is what we see in John chapter 9 verses 6 to 7. John chapter 9 verses 6 to 7. The man there, he was born blind. How can a man that was born blind? He had never seen before. He did not even know any color. And when he came to Jesus, he said, Jesus spat on the floor. He made it a clear. He rubbed it on his eyes. And Jesus said, go and wash. Let's assume that Jesus is here and I know he's here physically. And Jesus saw the blind man. Spot on the floor. 
O wa tu to sile. Made it a clay. O wa fe ri a ile. Rub it on the blind man. O wa fe ra oju enikan. I said go to the Tomlin Bridge you want go and wash. O wa lo si Tomlin Bridge ko lo we nbe. The next question you will ask is very simple. O to ma bere ni wipe. How will he get there? Ba o lo se ma debe. He has never seen before. O ti ri ran ri. How will he get there? Ba o lo se ma debe. That man did not ask any question. Ara kun ye ko bere bere koko. Immediately Jesus said go and wash. Ni wo ka ti Jesus so pe ko lo we. I him saying yes sir. O so fun wi pe mo gbo sir. He carried himself and he was going. O gbe ara re o bere si ni lo. I can imagine people that were giving him money. Mo ro a wo opolopo ton ti fun lowo tele. Hey blind man come let me give you money. Hey, afoju yen e wa gbowo. No he said no I am not listening to no, you. No wo re bayi. He asked me to go and walk. Somebody will have said, "Hey, you need to eat food. We have not eaten since morning." Oh, come, on, come, on, come, on, come on, let me give you food. No, 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 no. Somebody asked me to go and walk. Either he was walking there, boy, on Shishembe. Either somebody carried him. Either he was jumping, boy, on fall. Either he took him many days to get there, boy, on. The focus of this man is I am going to wash. Because the man has told me go and wash. And he has told me that as soon as I wash, I shall be able to see. Faith is believing what God says to you. When that man was going, some people have asked him, Where are you going? And he says, I'm going to watch because I want to see. They will have called him names. What to work with? No, no, no. Names they will have called him. He can't work with you. Oh, you are foolish. Even if you cannot see, too bad. Yeah, the real. Does not mean that your mental strength is not working again. Oh Lord, that you are kuni. You are blind. Oh, real. You said you want to go and watch. Oh, what law fellow way? You better don't go. You better not go, my Lord. Because you will. Drawn in the tomb in the bridge. People will get high, then they draw for water. I want to want loju. You will not get high. You say you want to go and wash. I want to want loju one way. What all loju no fair way? They were saying to that man. Oh, but what he wants so from quarter quarter. He was not interested. Koti on koti efekbo. He went by faith. Oh, look by Louis Gbagbo. And he got his mega miracle. Oh, what by she ya no re? He went by faith. Oh, look by Louis Gbagbo. And he got his mega miracle. Oh, what by she ya no re? People of God, as we go into year 2023, in your Lord about to learn what do you? God is asking you to go by faith. Allah is saying go by faith. God is saying go by faith. Oh, ni ko ko lo pe luig bagbo. I have prepared mega miracle for you. Moti shi o ko lo ko she ya no si le po. God is saying it does not matter what people will say. Oh, yo o ti ni ba le so. It does not matter they will abuse you. Oh, no ko lo to le fi bo. Oh, they will say you are going to church again. Oh, do ti lo si so si le ko si. All the prayers you pray last year. Oh, God, do that talk about Lord to Lord. Is that the same way you will do it this year? Se po tu se be she Lord do it to. And you are saying by faith, I go to receive my mega miracles. I stand on this pulpit to pray for you this afternoon. The Lord will reward your faith this year. I said I don't like this amen. The Lord will reward your faith this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, your mega miracles begins with faith. And that faith and it back boy yeah begins in the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, I bear it by Lord Jesus Christ. It is on that note that I bring you again to the Lord Jesus. Nenu e yimo asofo that I bring you again to the cross this afternoon. Oh, oh, what's it be like? Bele bulos so ye. That if you have been living a reckless life before, oh, but in big besi aye mo kantele. If you have been living your life you want anyhow, in besi aye in beku be. You are the time that you can even drink your wee wee. Oh, tell me mo itwara re. He will say aye la ma aje kato jo. We go chop this life before we chop heaven. Leave me alone. And you drink and drink and drink your destiny. You drink and drink and drink your children's school fees. You drink and drink and drink everything you need to build your house. God is saying, my son. God is saying, my daughter. 
Come on, man. Come to me by faith. You need salvation this afternoon. God is saying, you bring your life to me. Let me save you by faith. And I save you by faith. The seed of faith is planted in your heart. And you go with that seed of faith to receive your mega miracles. Finally, in Numbers chapter 14, verse 28, in Numbers chapter 14, verse 28, God said, whatever I hear you say, I will do it for you. Isn't that interesting? That is an open check for mega miracles. Open check for mega miracles. Come, if the, the, the richest man in Nigeria just appears this afternoon, and it all over you lot of people who are by and it tears his check leave. Oh, what day he wears away the wall and he signs and he opens it again and again. Oh, what she oh signs he bear and he say, Mama, take only Mama, ba go and write what you like. Look, come your wood over there. How much will you write there? A little bit possible. Some people are having a dick already. I want to call him for one lower lower by. Oh my God. How much will you write? And you will say, I will dry that pause. I go dry that pause. God is giving you open chair. Whatever I hear you speak to me. I will do it. So I see God come down. Picking up his own check leave. Writing your name there. Appended the signature. And handing it over to somebody. Handing it to somebody. And say whatever you like. Go write there. Will you write something meaningful? Let's stand, let's write it together in prayers. Stand and let's go to the Lord in prayers. We have 12 prophetic declarations very quickly. And I want to encourage you to ensure you are praying very sincerely. For you may not have opportunity of praying one another time. God is giving you that open chair. God is giving you that open chair. And before we begin to pray, let's close our eyes this afternoon. Do you want to give your life to the Lord Jesus? You want to dedicate your life to Him? I am not asking you to come out, but I just want you to lift up your right hand wherever you are. And I want to pray with you very carefully. You want to give the Lord Jesus your life? That is the beginning of your mega miracle. Wherever you are standing this afternoon, raise up your hand and I want to pray with you. I can see that hand up. I can see that sister raising up his hand. I can see that brother raising up his hand. Just pray to the Lord Jesus now. I say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. Come into my heart. Let your Holy Spirit that Christ Abba Father let him come into me again. Let him come into me again. Forgive me my iniquity, Lord. Forgive me my iniquity, Lord. Save me completely. Save me completely. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I pray for as many that have prayed that prayer. The Spirit of God that Christ, our Father, will minister to you. The Lord will save you completely. You are, you are delivered from the power of hell. In the mighty name of Jesus, go and enjoy your mega miracle. In the name of Jesus. If you are one of those that pray that prayers, I want to encourage you to show up yourself to your father and the Lord when you get back to your church. I, say, I am one of those that gave my life to Jesus. 
one of those that he dedicated my life to him. Oh, and I'm sure that my fathers in the Lord will lead you accordingly. Let's go into our prophetic declaration very carefully. Can you pick a song of your own this afternoon? And sing it to worship God. That is the four prayer points we are praying this afternoon. Can you pick a song of your own very carefully? Boss out to the Lord in songs. In the very best language that you understand. In the very best language that can express your cause. Just pick that song and express your gratefulness. Pick that song and express your gratefulness. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him. You cannot thank him enough. You cannot thank him enough. You cannot thank him enough. Thank him in your song this afternoon. And express it in your prayers. I said, Lord, I am grateful. I said, Lord, I am grateful. I said, Lord, I am grateful. Thank you because you are faithful. Thank you because you are kind. Thank you because you are good. Glory, glory, glory. glory. Glory, 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 glory be to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. I love better, amen. Prayer point number two. Can you say after me? In year 2023, I cannot hear you talk. Can you shout it bold and clear? In year 2023, 2023. 2023. Good things will not be difficult for me to achieve. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is there anybody that is praying very carefully? Go ahead and pray very carefully. Go ahead and pray very carefully. Go ahead and pray very carefully. The angels of the Lord are here. The power of the Lord is here. The signs of the Lord are here. The wonders of the Lord are here. In year 2023, no good things will be difficult for me. No good things will be difficult for my wife. No good things will be difficult for my children. In the mighty name of Jesus, in year 2023, I decree by the mandate of God that no good thing will be difficult for me. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Let your amen roar like thunder. Can you say after me? I pray that by the power of God I shall escape every satanic trap set for my life and my family open your mouth and pray in the mighty name of Jesus this is time to pray this is the time to pray this is the time to pray in the mighty name of Jesus every trap that the enemy have set for me every trap that the enemy have set for my house I escape you in the name of Jesus. I escape you in the name of Jesus. I escape you in the name of Jesus. Every trap set by the devil, set by the angel, the devil, unto me and my household. In 2023, I shall escape you all. I shall escape you all. I shall escape you all. You all. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall escape you all. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Can you say after me, Father? Arise and fight all sin and unseen battles. 
in Jakadi for me and my household. In the mighty name of Jesus. Who is praying this afternoon? Who is praying this afternoon? Arise, O Lord. Arise, O Lord. Arise, O Lord. Arise, O Lord. Fight every sin and unseen battle. Fight every sin and unseen battle. For me and my household. It's a woman praying this afternoon. Can I see a woman pray this afternoon? Can I see a man pray this afternoon? Can I see a father in the Lord pray this afternoon? I so Lord. I so Lord. Fight all sin and unseen battles. For me this year. For me in the mighty name of Jesus. I so Lord. I so Lord. For me. Fight every sin and unseen battle in the mighty name of Jesus. Arise, O Lord. Fight them for me. Fight them for my household for me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Can somebody shout with your power? And say after me that I decree that nothing good will die in my hand in year 2023. Nothing good shall die in my hand in year 2023. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Nothing good will die in my hand. Nothing good will die in my hand. In year 2023. This is your mega convocation. Receive it for the year. Nothing good will die in my hand this year. Nothing good will die in my hand this year. Nothing good will die in my hand this year. Nothing good will die in my hand this year. Not a good way down in my hand is here. In the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing good we done in my hand is here. Nothing good we done in my whole In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Can you say after me, oh Lord? As I sow, as I labor this year, I shall reap bountiful harvest. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. I will reap on I will reap on I will not labor in vain. In 2023, hear the word of the Lord. I will not labor in vain in you. My wife will not labor in vain in you. Everyone in my household will not labor in vain in you. Oh yeah, 2023. Oh yeah, 2023. Hear the word of the Lord. I will not labor in vain in you. I will not labor in vain in you. I will not labor in vain in you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Can you say after me? So tell me. I decree. So tell me. Every time that has been said by the enemy to make me cry, that time will not come. And in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. Every time that has been set aside to make me cry, that time will not come. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every time that has been set aside by the devil to make me cry, that time will not come. In the name of Jesus. That time will not come. 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 I cancel that day. I cancel that time. Set aside by the devil. Don't make me cry. 
over my wife to make me cry over my children to make me cry over my head that time will not come in the mighty name of Jesus that time will not come that time will not come in the mighty name of Jesus thank you Father in Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen. say after me this year this year no sickness will strive in my body every seed of sickness in my body dry now by the power of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, yes. Is anybody praying very carefully? Is anybody praying very carefully? In the mighty name of Jesus. No sickness will strive in my body. Every seed of sickness will strive in my body. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say no sickness will strive in my body. Every seed of sickness will strive in my body. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Dry now, Bedano. Dry now, Bedano. Dry now, Bedano. Dry now, Bedano. You see the sickness in my body. In the Guara, you see the sickness in my family. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Dry up now. Dry up now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Dry up now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. I am glad to announce to you that as we continue in our prayer session, our Father in the Lord came in. He said, Prove that God, you know, I was talking about open checks. That God has released it unto you. If you believe, you say, Better. I know at the right time, our Father in the Lord will again welcome our daddy in the Lord. Now lift up your right hand as we continue in our prayers. I receive the peace of God in my heart and for my family. Nothing will molest my peace this year and beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus. Is anybody praying now? Is anybody praying now? I receive the peace of mind. 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 For me and my household. In 2023. Nothing will molest my peace. Nothing will molest my peace. Nothing will molest my peace. My peace. Oh, so to my do you tell me? We bless my peace. Oh, go on. Don't you tell me? We bless my peace. Oh, go on. Don't you tell me? This year and beyond. At Lord do ye. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, look at Jesus Christ. Don't you we bless my peace. Oh, so go on. Don't you we bless the peace in my household. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, look at Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. You know, it's a 12 days foundational fasting and prayer program. And the 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 the, the implication each day stands for each month oh, of the year. Can you lift up your right hand and begin to declare? Every month of this year, every week of this year, every day of this year, you are redeemed for my sake. And for the sake of everybody in my household, go ahead and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. I redeem every month of this year. I redeem every day of this year. I redeem every week of this year. By the power of the Lord. 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 The month of January I redeem you. I redeem you. I redeem you. I redeem you. 
the month of May shall be my month of miracle. The month of June are the day. The month of July you are the day. The month of August I pray the blood of Jesus. The month of September hear the word of the Lord. The month of October hear the word of the Lord. The month of November you are the day. The month of December you are the day. Every month of this year. Every week of this year. Every day of this year. You are redeemed for my sake. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Before you ask God for that mega miracle, I want to beg of you to hold your hand with somebody. We are praying for the diocese of Lagos. No better time to pray for the diocese of Lagos than now. As a church, we lift up our voice together. Can you decree in the name of the Lord? And say, Father, take your place in the diocese of Lagos. Rule here forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. Are you praying? In the name of Jesus, are you praying in the name of Jesus? Lord, we enthrone you in the diocese of Lagos. Lord, we enthrone you in the diocese of Lagos. Lord, we enthrone you in the diocese of Lagos. We dethrone every seat of the devil. We dethrone every hotel of the devil. We enthrone you in the diocese of Lagos. Oh Lord, take your place. 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 We use the diocese of Lagos to all the diocese in the church of Nigeria. Take your place, oh Lord. Take your place, oh Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Finally, this afternoon. Ask God for your mega miracles. Ask God for your mega miracles. Open up to him as we land up now. Ask God for your mega miracles. Ask God for your mega miracles. Remember... It is your year of mega miracles. Remember the word of the Lord. That whatever you say to my hearing, I will do unto you. This is not the time to play. This is not the time to look at others. Receive your own mega miracles right now. Receive your own mega miracles right now. Receive your own mega miracles right now. The angels of God are moving around. The angels of God are moving around. Receive your mega miracle. Receive your mega miracle. I receive unlimited unction. I receive unlimited unction. I receive unlimited grace. As my year of mega miracle percussions. Receive your mega miracle this afternoon. The power of the Lord is here. For all things are possible unto the Lord. All things are possible unto the Lord. All things are possible unto the Lord. Whatever looks impossible to you, whatever looks impossible for your household, receive it this afternoon. Bring it before the Lord. Give him praise because the Lord is faithful. Give him praise because the Lord is faithful. Give him praise because the Lord is worthy. Give him praise because he's good. Give him praise because power is there. Because the signs of the Lord are here. The wonders of the Lord are here. The miracles of the Lord are taking place here. Oh, that will give you praise. Oh, that will give you praise. Oh, that will give you praise. Thank you, Father. Glory be to the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I love better. Amen. Amen. 
I stand in the name of the Lord of us. And I join my faith with the faith of the fathers in the Lord here. Every of the mega miracle you have asked for this afternoon, according to the mandate and the will of God for your life, I declare them confirmed upon you. I declare them confirmed upon your household. In the mighty name of Jesus, nothing good will die in your hand this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Every impossibility in the name of Jesus. that have strived in your life before now, mm. they shall be possible in the name of Jesus. Amen. Go on and enjoy mega miracles. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Can you give mega amen? Amen. Yeah, You can do better. You can do better. You can do better. Begin to jam those hands together for the Lord God Almighty. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just before we invite the divine minded voices for offering time. For our let me seize this opportunity to, on behalf of all of us, welcome our Father in God into our midst. We want to welcome our supervising bishop and the blood bishop of Lagos West Diocese, Lagos the West. right Reverend Doctor James Olushola Odedeji into our Daddy, you are heartily welcome. Daddy, a cabo, si and we are glad to have you in our midst. In spite of your busy schedule, and all that you have labored on last week, this week, we pray that the Lord God will continue to honor you. Amen. And the Lord God will continue to bless you. Amen. Thank you. And you are welcome. A cabo, sir. Put our hands together for Jesus. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, hallelujah. Without sowing, there cannot be harvest. It is time, time to sow a seed by giving back to the Lord. As the Lord is said, to give us to give us bumper harvest. It is time to appreciate the name of the Lord for all he has done in our lives in the course of these 12 days, prayer, fasting, and prayer. My pleasure to invite the divine minded voices to lead us as we come forward to drop our offering. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The guide us, still us, will direct us, please, from the back. They will guide us on how we should move. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Offering time. If you know you are blessed, can you stand to your feet and begin to make a choice?
something on your hand. Okay. Let's show we receive mega miracles today. We have something on your hand. Are you ready? Hey, oh, you say, don't be say of the grace. Now God of the praise. Don't be say of the praise. Prophetically, prophetically, are you ready? Yeah. Prophetically, and it's true. We have to carry me the go. Baba, carry me the go, the go, the go. Come on now. You are going into your miracle. We are carry me the go. Baba, carry me the go, the go, the go. Louder, louder, louder. Put them together for Jesus Christ. Please, let's be seated. As the Lord lives, this year, our joy shall know no sorrow. I say our joy shall know no sorrow. Joy shall know no sorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the permission of our Father in God, as supervising bishop, we invite the provost of the cathedral, the, right, the venerable, very reverend Dr. Ojo Feyitimi, to bless the offering. Let us pray. Gracious Father in heaven, the one who is always good, we thank you for this good start that you are giving to us at the beginning of the year 2023. Thank you for the assurance of mega miracles. 
we know that nothing will change your word. What you have said to us, you will confirm in the mighty name of Jesus. And in appreciation of all these, we give you this token of appreciation. We pray it will be acceptable unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Because we have given today, you will train our hands to make wealth this year 2023 in the name of Jesus. Because you have given to the Lord today, this year and beyond, you will not beg for bread. You will have enough to enjoy life. The Lord will amplify your celebration. He will increase your prosperity. You will lend to many nations. And through you, many will come to serve the Lord. Thank you, eternal Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 Once again, on behalf of our supervising bishop, the right reverend Dr. James, we welcome you to God's presence this afternoon. We thank you very profusely for being part of the program this year. And we appreciate you for coming. We pray that God will answer all our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to appreciate all the clergy and clergy wives. We pray that signs and wonders shall I back up our ministry this year in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to appreciate the director of the Directorate of Mobilization. Thank you very sincerely, sir. We appreciate Divine Mandate Voices, ably led by Venerable Dr. Festus Ajayi. We shall continue to be relevant in God's kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to appreciate the director of the Directorate of Evangelism, the, the Venerable Evangelism. John Agboro. Thank you very sincerely, sir. The grace of God upon your life shall not turn disgrace in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to appreciate the Dazi Sound Media Creo, ably led by the Venerable Oreolua Agbelusi. The grace of the Lord shall continue to sustain you in the name of Jesus Christ. We appreciate in a very special way the guide of stewards. You shall continue to be relevant for the Lord. We appreciate the drivers. May the Lord continue to keep and sustain you in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to inform us that the battle has for 2023 is ready. The battle hours shall be distributed on Monday during the clergy and clergy wise convocation. Please kindly take a copy from uh, any of our parishes anytime from Tuesday next week. May God continue to bless us in the name of Jesus Christ. Women rededication shall take place on Sunday, 15th January 2023 in all our parishes. Please let us take notes. May God continue to bless and prosper us in the name of Jesus Christ. What God has done in our lives in the course of these 12 days fasting and prayer shall be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And it shall continue to be well with us in Jesus' name. Once again, thank you for coming. To those that join us online, may God satisfy us and grant unto us all our desires in Jesus' name. Shall we put hands together for Jesus Christ? We want to also thank all the ministers that handle one aspect of the program or the other. The Lord will honor you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The hour that we are waiting for is here. The what moment for the today? Episcopal prophetic declaration and benediction. With every sense of humility, we want to invite to the podium our vice bishop. About the right Bishop Reverend Dr. Dr. James Oloshola Odadeji. Yeah, 
Can we do it louder? Can we do it louder to the Lord Jesus? The owner of the church. The same yesterday. The same today. The same forever. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. 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 Shout a better hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Let me welcome you once again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to this important program which has become a godly tradition for Dowsies of Lagos. And this year is unique because it's going to be a mega miracle year when somebody will be catapulted from where he's operating to where he should be operating. When the Lord will catapult people from not enough to more than enough. When the Lord will change some people's stepping Stepping dance in the name of Jesus Christ. If I'm talking about you, can you shout hallelujah? Between the time I have here, 10 to 15 minutes, I want us to sing a song. I will make references to three passages and we will live here stronger than we came. We will live here better than we came. Our testimony will be resounding. Our result this year will remove insults. Your result this year will be outstanding. If you believe, shout hallelujah. I can see the fingers of the Lord rewriting my story from story to glory. I can see the fingers of the Lord Rewriting my story from story to glory. If you believe that prophecy, so shout hallelujah. The, the finger of the Lord. Rewriting my story oh, from story to glory. Oh, I, I can see, oh, I can see the finger of the Lord. Open your Bible to Psalm 25. Psalm 25. We shall take only the first and the second stanzas, but in singing. We want to the whole Lord. Unto the whole Lord. Do I lift up my soul? Unto the whole Lord. Do I lift up my soul? Be 
ashes. Let no man enemy triumph over One more time. Unto the whole Lord. Do I lift up my soul? Unto the Bow your hands in prayer and turn that song into prayer points. The first one is that I believe I will not be ashamed. The second prayer point is that unto him I lift up my soul. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies triumph over me. Can you talk to your God? Can you put it to the hands of the Lord? Can you tell God as you commence this year? Having waited upon the Lord for 12 days, having fasted, having prayed conscientiously, that let not my enemies triumph over me. This year the devil will fail. This year the devil will be frustrated. This year the Lord will fight for me. I will have peace. Peace round about. Peace in front. Peace behind. Peace left and center. I will experience mega miracles. Extraordinary miracles. Outstanding miracles. The Lord will fight for me. And it shall be well with my soul. I put my hands in your hands, oh Lord. I put my hands in your hands, oh Lord. I put my hands in your hands, oh Lord. I cannot fail. I cannot fail. For Jesus never fail. Jesus never fail. I put my life. In your hands, oh Lord. I put my life in your hands, oh Lord. I put my hands in your hands, oh Lord. I cannot fail, for Jesus never fails. Can you turn it to prayer? The Lord, I put my life in your hands. I put my time in your hands. I put my future into your hands. I put my family into your hands. I put my going out, my coming into the hands. I cannot fail. For Jesus never fail. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Can you please open to Exodus chapter 3? Exodus chapter 3. And hear the word of God for your life. 
the word of God that is coming to you, which will soon be perfected. Exodus chapter 3. Please let us go straight to verse 7 and see how God spoke to the Israelites. How God made a promise unto them. And all the promises the Lord has made for you we happen this year. Every long awaited miracle, every hijack miracle is coming your way this year. Amen. Can, Can we take verse 7 together? And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Nigeria. Most and I have heard their cry by the reason of their taskmaker. For I know, for I know, for I know, and because God knows your sorrow, every sorrow in your family will be terminated this year. Amen. The Lord will separate you from every long time sorrow in your family. For I know their sorrow. Can we jump to verse 19? Because of our time. Exodus chapter 3 verse 19. Are you there? You can see how God again spoke here. Let's go together, verse 19. And I am. Can you stop there? I am what? God is saying, I am. Let's go on. That the king of Egypt will not let you. You know why? He's, a, he's enjoying oppressing you. The Lord will disappoint your oppressors. Every conspiracy in the pit of hell, the Lord will bring down this year heavenly tear gas. That's what God is saying here. I am sure that the king of Egypt will not let you go. Let's go on now by a mighty but let's read what God said he would do verse 20, verse 20. Verse 20. let's go and I will stretch out I will do what? Uh-huh. And smite with my wonders which I will do in the midst thereof. And after that, and after that, the Lord will visit you this year. The Lord will visit your business this year. There is a son. If God says yes, nobody can say. And after that, He will let you go. And I say to you here today, you are living where the enemy has tied you down. Something happened in the scripture. He sent to them, you will find an animal tied down. Lose it and bring it. If anybody asks you, tell that person God is in need of him. This year, God is progressing you. Every hand that is tying you down by the name of the Lord Jesus, those hands will wither Those who want you to be down, they will we go down. He said, after all this, he will let you go. Let's see verse 21. Let's read together. And I will give this people favor in the sight of the Egypt. And it shall come to pass where ye go 
he shall not go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This year you will not suffer emptiness. Lord, do ye? Oh, ne pa da nuwa unchoda. This year you will not suffer nakedness. Oh, ni ah ni jao siwo. This year you will not suffer nothingness. Oh, ni shalai. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. You know, I love a passage in the scripture. We are coming back to Exodus. But open to Psalm 44. Very, very quickly. Psalm 44. And see how the psalmist described our God in heaven. What he had done for our forbearance. And he cannot change. He has not changed. Psalm 44. Can we take verse 1 together? We have heard with our hearts, oh God, our fathers have told us what work thou didst in their days, in the times then verse 2, let's see it. How thou didst drive out the heaven with thy hand and plenty of them, and thou didst afflict the people and cast them. Then verse 3. For they go not to the land of possession by their own sword, neither did their own hand save them, but thy right hand and thy hands. And the light of their countenance, because thou hast favor, receive favor. Amen. Receive favor. Amen. Where they have told you last year, who are you? This year they will tell you, how are you? Where they have looked down on you in the previous years. They will look up to you this year. Those who have laughed. At you, they will only laugh with you this year. Favor everywhere. When you are sleeping, favor will speak for you. When you are sleeping, favor will speak for you. Can you set your right hand up? Whatever these hands will touch this year, it will turn to gold. Whatever you touch this year will prosper. You will continue prospering. Before the end of this year, you will become prosperous. Shout hallelujah! Verse 3 says, They did not get to the promised land by their sword. Neither is it by their might, but by the right hand, by the straight forth of God's right hand. God is going before you this year. He will carry you with his own hands this year. At the end of this year, you will have mega miracles, mega testimonies. You will enter into your miraculous. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Let's go back to Exodus chapter 6. As a round up. Exodus chapter 6. Can you jump to verse 5? And hear a compassionate father. Exodus chapter 6 verse 5. Are you there? Let's read it now. And I have heard the groaning of the children of Nigeria. Whom thou in Jesus keep aware. Musi. And I have. God will remember somebody this year. Amen. I tell people anywhere I go. The Bible says it's not by power. It's not by might. By the grace of God, many of us are children of destiny. When you call 100, 200 will answer you. Receive that covenant in the name of Jesus Christ. When you get to anywhere this year, and they say it is finished, when you appear, they will tell you there are some being kept for you. 
It's not about certificates. It's not about technical know-how. It's not about connection. But grace. Grace will speak for you. Grace has started speaking for you. Mercy will speak volume in the name of Jesus Christ. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who here is the next testifier? Who wants to testify before the end of January? Can you wave your hands to the Lord? Just wave it, wave it, wave it, wave it. Wave it, wave it. Tell somebody be expectant. You are the next testifier. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you. We can only say to you alone be all the glory. Thank you, Lord. We have been here. The past four hours. And for the past 12 days. Your people have been waiting upon the Lord. Many have received their testimonies already. Even leaving this place this afternoon. The next phone call. Will be that the Lord has done it. If you believe that prophecy, receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Where you have labored and you had nothing, this is your year of harvest. Amen. It's your year of increase. The Lord will embarrass you with blessings. Those who are asking for bicycle. I want to be the fool. The Lord is giving you trailer this year. The last time you were mocked. But this year, you will be celebrated. Where the enemy left you last year. You have left the place in the name of Jesus Christ. This is your year of miracle. Not just miracle, mega miracles. In the name of Jesus. We soak you in the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood that speaketh better things than the blood of heaven. Who speak in your favor. It is well with you. It is well with your family. It is well with your going out. Well with your coming in. You will not be victim of circumstance. You will not turn back on journey of no return. This is your year of celebration. Year of jubilation. Year of progress. In the name of Jesus. We pray for this diocese. This is the premier diocese. First among equal. Your glory will not go down in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the first diocese in Nigeria. Father. 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 Give us a man after your own heart. Give us a man that will walk your purpose. It doesn't matter what anybody is doing or saying. The best is coming in the name of Jesus Christ. It shall be well with you. We pray for all the ministers. From the provost to the last deacon. These people will prosper this year in the name of Jesus. We pray for families that are here. Families that are not here. This year, the Lord will bless you. Yafu, yafu. It shall be well with you. So on behalf of all of us, we lift up our eyes onto the hills. We know our help will come from the Lord. Who made heaven and earth? He will not suffer our food to be moved. He that keeps us will not sleep nor slumber. 
The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shield. Upon your right hand. The sun will not smite you by the day. Nor the moon by the night. The Lord will preserve your going out. He will preserve your coming in. You will not be victim of circumstance. You will not embark on journey of no return. For those who are waiting for your shame, they will wait forever. For those who are waiting for your disgrace, they will wait forever. In quietness, you will serve your God. In sound health, you will serve the Lord. We pray for organizers of today's meeting. They will not lose their reward in the name of Jesus Christ. And it shall be well with you. So unto God's gracious mercy, we commit to you. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord preserve you. The Lord see to your going out. May he see to your coming in. Amen. May you never, never, never travel on to journey of no return. Amen. Road will be safe for you. Amen. Here will be safe for you. Amen. And where nobody is, God will be there for you. Amen. Where it matters, mm. the Lord will rise for your sake. Amen. There will always be the fourth man in the fire of your life. Amen. You may be lonely, you will never be alone. Amen. You may be lonely, you will never be alone. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty. Amen. Father. Amen. Son. Amen. Holy Spirit. Amen. Be with all of you. Amen. Be with all of you. Amen. Be with all of you. Amen. Now and forevermore. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Put your hands together. Put your hands together for the Lord. Please tell three people I will see you next year. Maria and your Dutumbo. Tell him how so I will see you next year. Maria and Lord Dutumbo. Tell somebody you will see me next year.